Oh, hello everybody, how are you all going today? It's only been like, what, four days since I passed my last video up about me not doing any videos lately. Well, today I've got a surprise for you. I'm going fishing. I'm here at our local river mouth and I'm going to try and catch some kahawai. Some of you guys who are interested in uh, seeing what sort of gear I use, it's quite simple really. I'll show you that. At the moment I'm just going to use a 4 ounce sinker and that's on a running line on my uh, shock leader. If it moves around too much then I'll go to a sand sinker. But I'm using that. I have my trace which is probably about 400 mils long and I have two uh, I have a six bar row and I think a five bar row recurve circle hooks now these things are great for hooking fish they actually hook themselves and normally in the corner of the mouth so you just there's really great hooks to catch fish with so I've got two of those I've got two of those with heaps of barb exposure I'm using pilchards here what I'll do is I'll cut them on an angle this way so it'll make two baits up two hooks and half a pilchard that'll always increase your your catch rate of your fish and something you should always have with you is some cotton bait to tie your bait on, very important anyway I'm going to stick a bait on and I'm going to have a cast the tide's coming in and it should be quite good it was good yesterday so we'll see how we go right so there's my bait nice big hook sticking out outside and I've got another big hook sticking out of there heaps of hook that's how I normally do it or I sometimes put the two hooks on the one side of the, of the bait either either Tie with some cotton, and we're going to chuck her out. See how um, the current is with my with my sinker. If it starts to move too much, then I'll put a sand sinker on. That helps to grab into the sand, keeps the in one place rather move around a bit. So we'll see how it goes. You see, it's moved already a bit. One of these you know, sand sinkers, little prongs on there. Prep for digging into the sand. I might use it next time, I think. Fish on already. Now that bait hasn't been in the water, not even a minute, I hooked up. Here we go, nice Thornton River Kahawai, far out, with the women hooks just on too. Not even a minute in the water, and I got that. Awesome, I'll be home soon. Yeah, it's cotton, two hooks. Awesome bait, the old pilchards. 
can't go wrong with those. Right, the best thing to keep your fish on a hot day nice and cool is I use a rope. I tie this end to my um, rod holder, put this through the fish's mouth, put it through like this, and then you stick it by the water to the water so your fish will go nowhere. So I'll tie that to my rope to my rod holder and it'll just keep cool with the water flow over it. Number two. There you go. Second cast, second bait. Second fish. Oh, you right? Hawaii number four. I think it's enough for me. Good enough for a feed. Yeah, might be enough. Now four Kahawai. So even an hour here to get that. Out of here. Good enough for a feed. That's all you need. Yeah, just grab one out of there. Do it. Oh, 
nice one. Mm, Sitting good. out in the lawn. Mm. You want that one or you want a smaller one? Oh, smaller yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, the lawn is bigger for Yep. Yeah. Nice one. I shall fill it that. Yeah, I thought I'd come in. Yeah. Full. Yep, so. Even bigger, I think. Mm. Right, now I'm going to fill it the kahawai. We're going to have kahawai um, for tea tonight, pan fried with butter. So I'm just going to fill it one of these here. And I'm sure you guys know how to fill it fish. Not the fastest of fillers, but. I'm all right. I think you need a sharp knife is important. So just do it like that. Cat's down between my legs. He can smell fish, he's been asleep all day and he is hanging out for feed after burning all that energy sleeping today. But there's almost one fill it done. And as close to the bone as you can. I hope there's some roe in here as well. I can see a couple of roe. Sausages off the sea, I call them. Yum. There you go, one little fillet there. We'll just. I don't want to scale these ones here, but I'm just going to take the skin off. There you go. There's your fillet, or your fillet, if you're going to call it that. I'll just take the pin bone out, or the bone in the middle there, get about here. Oh, I'm going to wrap this the wrong way around. Just take that out, cut her up, and give it to the cat. Yeah, boy. That up, right. So, there's our fillet of kahoi. Just to the other side as well, I'll cut the other fillet off and the other fish and then I'll get back to you guys soon. So quite a, quite a good size kahawai. So I'm just going to cut off the other fillet of this fish and get the row out. And I'll do one more fish. As you can see that is a nice good size fillet or fillet. Tasty as yes, fresh kahawai. Hold your fingertips on one side and then just go down as far as you can. A good flexible knife is quite good so you get all the all the flesh off the skin. Yep, not much left at all on there. So there's the that's the line there where the bones are in. And he goes up to about here somewhere. So we just go either side of that red line. And it's about there. And give that to the cat. Yep, well, a nice piece of fillet or fillet. Yeah, so there you have it. There's our six fillets of kahawai. I'll put those in the fridge, let them chill for a little bit before we cook them up. And there we have it. There we go. 
Okay, on to the fridge. Right, to go with our fish tonight, you're going to have some kamo kamo. For those of you who don't know what kamo kamo is, it's like a marrow. Māori here in New Zealand love eating kamo kamo with boil up, mashed with um, mashed potatoes, with butter, salt, and pepper. As you can see, I had two plants which started growing over here, and now they've taken over the lawn and also up in the lemon tree. So we're just going to go and pick one. And I've got one, some baby ones in there growing. But I've got one right here, which is a good size to eat. And there is our come on, come on. Very tasty indeed. So I'm just going to do this one up in. I'm just going to boil it, salt, pepper, and butter. So that's going to go with our fish tonight. So there's our kamo kamo, I just cut it up. So just put it into our pot. Add a bit of salt. I'm going to put it onto the stove. Got power on, frying pan on, right into a bowl, add some flour. Now the fish fillets will just cut in half that way. That way there, so we've got three nice pieces out of one fillet. Cut them any sort of size you want. You can actually keep them like that if you want to, keep them nice and long, it's however you want to do it. I'll cut these ones this way here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll do one more, I think. Maybe just half of one, I think. Maybe just half a fillet. Do the rest tomorrow. So there we go, here's our fish. We'll just dip that in flour. So we'll season it first. salt and do with enough seasoning. Right into the pan we add our butter, a little bit of oil, here just dust the fish in the flour, put some butter over there. We'll give it about three or four minutes each side and then we'll turn them over. Right, it's been about four minutes so we'll turn these fish over. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. You don't want to overcook fish, that's for sure. Oh yeah, and it smells Mm, beautiful. Ooh, be the same on this side here. Another four minutes, and then it's ready. The old pan-fried kahawain butter. Another way. If you can cut away, besides so raw fish like I normally do it, or smoked fish. Put a couple of fruits on here. Oof. Parsley, a little bit of lemon juice, a bit of yummy kamakama from the garden. 
if it's a nose, a bit of butter on there as you would. But More on there. Come on, come on. Yeah. Mm. It's really good where you can eat food that you haven't actually bought from a shop. Up on the butter and the flour, everything on this plate. It's come from the sea and from my garden. That's what I like about it. And it's free. It costs nothing for it and it's fresh. You know where it comes from. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Have fun, take care.